All right, YouTube, it's time for the update on the channel, and we are no longer doing the Dad to Glory, but I told you guys the last time that I was going to come back and do some sort, of, some sort of content here on the channel. The Cynical FC is still a thing, and even without Dad to Glory, I have to say I played the game this week, and the overwhelming response I had on the last video just showed me that you guys are also waiting for something good to happen within this game. You are not done with Ultimate Team, you are not done with playing foot on console, and you are not done with enjoying video games. So the issue really is the game itself, and EA is on top of it. So I thought about it all week, I grinded the bit of the game on the web app, and Obviously, I saw the movement on Twitter X, the boycott EAFC or the boycott EA, and just all the actions taken by big streamers and I like uh, Nick Run the Foot Market, awesome dude. It was just he's just joining channels to voice his opinion and try to gather some sort of traction of what we can do to send a clear message to EA, and I wanted to humbly chime in because I obviously a very small channel but i've been a member of the community for five years now just watching contributing the best i can trying to play trying to learn the ropes and i don't have a perfect solution but i think i have a roadmap for you guys to still enjoy ultimate team while sending a clear message to ea that we want change and we need change and we need this game to not be the same in fc25 Otherwise, we will drop massively. The interest will not sustain because it's not even June and you can feel a dip in the game, even though we are during team of the season. And today was La Liga team of the season. I'm recording this on Friday. So the game is not as healthy as it was, even though EA is making more money than ever. Go figure. So we need to all move towards the same objectives. If we were on the boat, we need to row all at the same time during the same way and maintain the same pace, even though there's millions and millions of players of Ultimate Team and it's impossible for us to all do the same thing. I think we can have some sort of consensus of what to do. And that's where I want to come in. I want to show you guys what not what how to enjoy ultimate team and still send a message to ea that you need to take care of your game and most importantly you need to take care of us the players the core base the ones who are here every day and they that are keeping this game alive by playing it and playing it you need to take care of us that's where i'm at today i need to be taken care of please just rub me the right way. Just give me something sweet. And a free team of the season card is not it, by the way. If you logged into the game on Friday, you received a free La Liga team of the season pack. I packed the, the keeper, Unai Simon, as most of you will, or some sort of lower rated team of the season. That's not what we need, EA. We need clear solutions to the servers who are atrocious and according to an employee that spoke to nick run the foot market it's a problem that is well known within the company but nobody's willing to do and fix something it's about the cash or something there's it's too big to be fixed in one quick solution and nobody wants to take the the bullet for this because somebody's gonna have to take a bullet for this and nobody wants to be in front of the gun so this is going on uh, obviously the big money grabs EA do every week for the store packs and stuff. So we need clear solutions and this is how you can still enjoy playing ultimate team without boycotting the whole system. But you know, just tell EA, Hey dude, what's up? Please change something. So it goes without saying, but just in case you needed a reminder, the very first thing you need to do is to never go into that section. I'm showing it to you guys just for the sake of it. Don't go buy FC points at all. Never look at the prices. This is absolutely ridiculous. If you are on PlayStation right now, the game is free. Why on hell on earth would I pay 60 bucks for a bunch of FC points? And you shouldn't 
at absolutely no cost, no reason, even for a shortcut, you can get all the fodder necessary to grind this game without spending any sort of real money. And take it one step further, you shouldn't be a member of EA Play. The only reason I'm still in EA Play is because I took a year subscription by mistake. I was paying monthly and then I think there was a bundle and I clicked on it and it registered me for a year a while back so i'm kind of stuck with it now i'm never using it i'm I'm not even playing the other ea games with ea play so that that's just on me but if you can opt out of ea play do it as well just send a message to ea do not buy any fc points don't spend money they don't need it and you know what? We pay enough. We buy this game every year. If you play on PlayStation, you need to play every month. You need to to be uh, a member of PlayStation Plus to play online. I don't know if it's the same with Xbox, but you need to be a member of PlayStation Plus, which is a monthly subscription. Yeah, it comes with a bunch of other games and stuff, but at the core of it... I'm paying my subscription to be able to play online and playing online is pretty much the only thing I do with Ultimate Team. So I play a monthly fee plus the game every year. It's like I, I bought a condo and I got fees every month. Nothing of this is mine. The condo is owned by the company who owns the building and I'm just paying for the luxury of being there. That's not mine. Same with this game. It is not yours. It is not your cards, your players. None of this will stay in your pocket at the end of the year. So pay as little as possible. If you jumped into the game at Christmas half price, even better. If you jumped into the game right now for free, please leave it as is. Free to play is the best way to play this game. And I will show you in another video what you can do from scratch to be absolutely free to play on PlayStation right now because the game is free. So you can start to, from zero. I will reset one of my account to just go at it and grind again, and I will show you. But for right now, please do not touch the FC points section. And there's a points to be made with the promo pack as well to not buy them with coins. I have enough coins to buy some of these, but I think that if nobody buys promo packs or less player buy promo packs, what will happen is that they will see the metric at the end of the month and say, okay, we released this foundation 81 plus pack and only 1% of the player base bought it versus like, I don't know, 5% last month. So there's a drop in interest. So if we lose interest in these store packs, Maybe, just maybe, they will release less of them or they will make them juicier so now you can buy them with coins. So I think if we show a significant loss of interest into these packs, they will lose the incentives to release more and more and more of these. But that's just my opinion. I don't have any facts about this. I don't have any stats. I am not an EA employee with access to the numbers. It's just pure logic. If the customers don't want your product, you're not selling it more to them. You're trying to switch it up. You make it more appealing. You change the the outside of it. You put another packaging around it. You, mac you mix it with a product that works. So if these packs don't work, maybe they'll release more packs with these tied in together. I don't know. But it will at least... Like... We're going to get their attention because if we buy less packs with coins, I'm not even talking about the money. So it doesn't change the end game of making money. It just changes like if they spend all this time working on these packs and nobody bites, maybe they're going to work on something else. But that's just me. Maybe it's just super easy to do for them and they just pump them and whatever. But we can try it. So stay away from the store, stay away from the FC points. If you need cards, if you need packs, what you really can do to enjoy the game is grind it. Simple as that. You can grind pretty much infinite pack right now. It is super easy and there is two clear ways to do it. My favorite will always be the League of PCs. As of right now, the League of Species has never been cheaper. You can buy any of these cards for absolutely 
next to nothing and you will make coins doing this grind because you sell the tradable ones and you keep the untradables and it just goes on and on and on. So if you want to do it all over and over and over again, it is entirely possible to do so without going broke. So for me, that's still the solution to all your problems. If you need packs, do a couple of runs of the League SPCs, then you will get a higher rated fodder and then from there you can build player picks and whatnot. That's how I do it. You can go the route where you do player picks as well. Player picks is, are good. Player picks are super juiced. The ADT plus is good. But the, the lesson here is that you don't go and buy FC points if you need cards. You go on the SPCs and you grind your way in. And an, I, trust me when I say this. If you do an hour of League SPCs or of heavy grinding any sort of SPCs within the game, you will get more rewards than a weekend of champs. This is an absolute certainty. If you spend a full hours on this game grinding it, you will get rewarded. There is no exception. It's only a matter of time. The time you put in will be given back to you tenfold. But I understand that finding time to grind a game is not always easy. I know, I'm a dad, I don't have always countless hours to put into the game, but just by the time I I'm talking to you guys, I just make this super quick. I just need to put the cam in. I'm going to put a Tsunami Ricana one right here, and there you go. So within less than a minute, I just did a squad times four. Let's say it takes you five minutes to do this. You can do this ten times an hour. And I'm even including time to buy cards and stuff. Right now, everything is super slow, but you will get an infinity of packs. And these packs, you open, and there's always a chance. Of course, you're not going to pack a bunch of Team of the Seasons with these small packs, but you never know. I did pack great stuff. I packed Icons. I packed Eros. I packed Team of the Season. Name it. I packed... Pretty much everything with those. My best pack pull this year was the uh, Jerzinho, the Golazo version. I did this. And what you do when you do the League SPCs, you never waste any card. That is the, another important thing to do when you want to enjoy Ultimate Team. You have a finite amount of resources within the game. Do not waste any of them, especially the untradable one. Pl people will tell you, oh yeah, but they're untradable. They have zero value. That is not true. The coin value is only the tip of the iceberg. What you can do with these cards is the real true value of it. Because you see, I got two rares duplicate here. For me, two rares means I jump into the player picks and I craft a player pick. This way, I do not lose the two cards. They are staying in the club because a duplicate will, ju will just recycle into your club. And then I generate a card that I will not have otherwise while spending resources that I do have from the grind. And from this, look, I'm going to take the, uh, the non-duplicate because I am filled to the brim with cards. But that's what happened. When you do this grind, you get so many gold cards, so many fodder to use and invest. That is infinite. And that's the part of infinity. And if you need fodder, you go on the exchange program, you put a high rated ra gold rare here, or you buy one from the market, 89 rated or 20k right now. This is infinite. You just open and open and open and open. And this is how I create all of my pack pulls, all of the cards that I have. My, my, my squad is stocked right now. I have a very, very good team. I'm not really aiming for anything more. Jorginho was a pack pull. All of these, I'm not buying cards. These are all first owner untradable cards or SBCs. Simple as that. Balotelli was a pack pull. Rolfo was an SPC. SPC order guard. Garnacho was a pack pull. Katoto a pack pull. All of these. SPC, SPC, pack pull, pack pull. Uh, this was from an icon pack, but I think he's an SPC right now. Oba was a pack pull. Modric was a pack pull. But from all of these, it's rewards, it's untradeable. So it's very important for you to just grind on at your own pace i do this on my phone while watching netflix so it's not really hard and the other thing you can do to send ea a clear message of what you want to do is play the game they put a bunch of rewards within the game for you to actually play it so 
exploit those, play the game, go get all of these packs because this is a great way to get fodder. This also sends the message that if it is a gameplay objectives, we want to do it. We don't want to buy more of your FC points. We don't want to spend more money. We want to play the game. We want the game to be fun. We want to enjoy playing the game. It's as simple as that. So go do, I'm a little behind because I haven't played this week, but go do all these objectives. Look at these cards. You're not going to play Vitinha, Donna, or Sissoko, but this is three high-rated cards. This is a bunch of XP points. These XP points translate into the season, and the season translate into... I really want to try that Mainu card because, wow, this is a youngin. This is the best card he's going to have this year. And look at this. He's got Finesse Shot as well. So, you know what? I think I'm going to go on and play some of the... Um, the, um, the cup on the friendly modes just so that, that I can unlock him and try him in champs or try him in rivals or whatever and then you move on the ladder and you get a bunch of fodder pack that's what you want this is exactly what you need to pack everything that you want to pack so you you don't need any store packs that this is the absolute most important thing to remember don't buy FC points. It's super simple, but play the game, grind the rewards, and if you're frustrated with it, just back out. You don't need to be angry at the game. You don't need to be toxic. You don't need to be to use all these meta tactics to win, win, win. Play. This is a game. It needs to be played. It doesn't need to be competitive. It doesn't need to be rage-inducing. You are not a pro player. You're not on a pro tour. This is not how you earn your living. It is how you enjoy at the end of the day when everybody's asleep or when you have free time. This is supposed to be fun. If you're not having fun doing it, do something else and come back when it's fun. The, the, these ways I showed you, this is how I have fun. Grinding the game, just packing and packing and mixing the team. I'm switching cards in my squad just because I feel like it's fun. I know some of you will just play the maximum best squad they have. It's a thing you can do. I'm just not doing it. I'm switching it around depending on what I pack, what's the SPC this week. Just play with what EA gives you and you don't need the uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You don't need to ride that rainbow. You, you can just do your own thing, chill. You can even do a career mode to take it a step back and leave Ultimate Team for a little while and then come back. That's probably what I'm going to do this summer. I think I'm going to have a career mode on my own, just no stream, no YouTube, no Twitter, no nothing. Just play a couple of games as it was meant to be before all that ultimate team craziness where we need to play every day and compete and get rewards. Just, you can get every rewards the game give you just by grinding the menus. But if you want more, you play it competitively. So if you don't get your wins and rivals this week, it doesn't matter. Spend 20 minutes doing the League SPCs, you will get just as many packs. Same as champs. You don't have time to play 20 games of champs. Spend 30 minutes crafting League SPCs and player pick, and you will get just as many rewards as you had in champs, except for the red cards, but who cares? They're all bad anyway. Don't get hung up on chasing rewards. Just play the game for the sake of playing the game. And this is where I'm going to leave you. Simple, simple, simple objective. Enjoy the game. And... If we are having fun and we're not spending more money, EA will eventually give it back to us because they'll see in the metric, oh, people are playing. They're not buying FC points, but they want to play the game. So let's make the game good and drop the whole FC point thing. And if we want more money, just make the game more fun and maybe we'll get the people back or do seasons or do a free-to-play game but with monthly teamed or something where we want to buy or not like they do in Fortnite and stuff. But right now, EA don't need more of your money, but you can have fun because it's still, at the core of it, a fun game to play when you just take out all the negative crap around it. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Take out the negative and just have fun this summer with Ultimate Team and hope for the best for FC25. So I'll see you next time when I'm, I'll show you guys where to start from scratch. 
But until then, follow me on Twitter slash X, cynical underscore foot. And try to catch me on Twitch if you can. I don't know if I'm going to stream regularly or not. I haven't in a while, but I will eventually. You're going to see it on Twitter. So jump on Twitter is the best place or hang around here. I'll try to update at least once a week. And we'll see where that leads us. Ciao, boys.